Hi there. Today I'm going to talk you through the QR code automation inside Bittrex 24. What the QR code automation allows us to do is it allows us to create a unique QR code in the automation rules areas inside a lead, inside a deal, and inside the smart process automation module. It also allows us to include a trigger to automatically move that entity along once the QR code has been scanned. I'll also run through a demonstration of the QR code in action. So we'll, we'll use a real case scenario of a webinar registration. Uh, so it allows us to confirm the attendance by scanning a QR code in an email. So what is QR code automation inside Bittrex 24? So what Bittrex have now enabled is the ability to create a unique QR code inside a lead, inside a deal, or inside the smart process automation module. And I'll be running through that example in a moment. What they also enable you to do is actually track the ability of a user or a customer scanning that QR code to automatically move that entity along in your sales process or in our case in our demonstration shortly in the webinar registration process. So let's take a look inside Bittrex. On the screen here we have created a smart process automation to track our webinar registrations. So let's take a look at our automation rules. So first of all, we have a number of stages. So we have attendees, send attendee information, attendance confirmed, and send post webinar email. Now, what we want to do is receive the information from the attendee via a CRM form, which I'll run through in a moment. And once we receive that information, it will perform all of the different automation rules below the attendee stage. As you will see here, we all already have the create QR code uh, automation block. So let's just jump in here and edit so we can see what it gives you. We can see here it has the QR code that is going to be unique per attendee. You can actually save that image if you wanted to as well. And furthermore, what we also have is the ability to put customized text onto a page once that particular visitor scans the QR code. And I'll be able to show you that in a moment. Now we can find that QR code creation automation block inside the create area here. Now what I haven't got in here is the trigger. Now what we want to do is once a potential attendee has registered uh, via the form, we want to send them an email out. So you can see here, we've created the QR code and we're going to send the email out. Now, first of all, in my email, I want to be able to include the QR code that I've created above. Now I can do that by clicking on the three dots to the right hand side, clicking on create QR code automation, and then just scroll below, and what we want to do is add the QR code as a HTML image inside the email. So I can do that as so. Now, secondly, I want to create the trigger. Okay, so to click on create, and then I want to create the trigger on attendance confirmed, because once that user scans that QR code, I want to be able to move the uh, attendee to the attendance confirmed. If I click on trigger here, I can click there and click on add. Track QR code use by customer. So you can see here, if I click on change, I can select the webinar confirmation QR code that was created in the first stage. Click on save and I'll click on save again. So what you'll see here is that we send the email out, it will automatically move the attendee to send attendee information. Uh, if that attendee is still sat in here one hour after the webinar, so therefore they haven't scanned the QR code, then we'll move it to the not attended stage.
However, if the user or visitor scans the QR code, then we'll use this trigger to automatically put them into the attendance confirmed and then send them an email with a live link five minutes prior to the webinar. Okay, so let's take a look at that in action in a moment. So just to cover what I'll be demonstrating is, as I mentioned, we've created an SBA for webinar registrations. Inside that smart process automation, we collect useful information such as the, attendant, the attendee's name, email address. Uh, we also have different webinars, so we also automatically collect and put in the webinar that they will be attending. Okay, so let's jump back into Bittrex and I'll show you how this is going to work. So first of all, what we anticipate is that we've created a CRM form to allow attendees to register. So I've got this pr information pre-filled out. If I click on register, that will then submit the information put into that form automatically into the smart process automation. And once that gets submitted, what we'll be able to see is that the information submitted has been stored inside the smart process automation. So what we should also expect to see is an email that has been sent out. So if I click on my email up at the top left hand corner, you can see, please confirm you're a Bitrix24 live webinar attendance. And inside that, what we'll see is we have a QR code. Now let me bring my phone up here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to scan the QR code. So you can see here, it automatically detects that it's a QR code. I'll click on here and that will bring it up and you'll be able to see on the screen the information that I inputted into the Create QR Code Automation Rule. And you can say, thank you for registering for the Bitrix24 webinar. Click on Confirm Attendance and then we'll have a success. And then in here, what we'll be able to see back into Bitrix is that we should see this uh, registration for the attendance nicely move into the attendance confirmed, which it has. And if I click into that, what we'll be able to see as well inside the automation rules is obviously the information that has been sent out and submitted, but we'll also be able to see the automation rules that have been actioned. So you can see all of the blocks that have got a green tick have been actioned. You can see that it's, notif it's noticed that obviously this attendee has scanned the QR code. And now what we're waiting for is five minutes before the webinar date and time to send the live link to the webinar using an email automation rule block. Two hours after the webinar, what's gonna happen is it's automatically going to move the uh, attendee to the send post webinar email and that will be customized and tailored towards that particular attendee. So that's just one use case example of using the QR code in a real use case scenario. I hope you found that useful. Uh, please do get in touch with us if you uh, are looking for a further demonstration in how the QR codes could um, be useful for your business. Uh, or if you need any assistance or development with your Bitrix24 system, again, please do get in touch with us using the details on the screen. Now, thank you very much for watching and bye for now.